is on a mission to help ease Hawaii's doctor shortage. As our Mark Carpenter explains, she's taken her message to Congress. Kapolei native Tiana Elisara grew up with a passion to serve. As everyone knows, there's shortages, healthcare disparities, um, underserved in rural areas. So that's where I wanted to step in and say, hey, let me be that person to say I'm going to do something about it. And I, I want to use my life's work to be able to give back. And training is underway for that life's work. She's currently in her first year at the College of Osteopathic Medicine at Virginia's Liberty University. Now she hits the books, top of mind is Hawaii's desperate call for doctors. A recent UH report says the state is in need of nearly 600 physicians. Last month, Elisara arranged a meeting with Hawaii's congressional delegation to find ways to incentivize doctors to work in the islands. It was everything from supporting students while they're in school to supporting students while they're in their training programs or even when they're practicing as physicians. Um, there is a lot more to it than just getting into medical school and you're on your happy way. Although she's still early in her medical journey, Elisara is working to be an ambassador in the industry. She was Hawaii's lone representative at a recent osteopathic physicians conference in D.C. And when she's through with school, her ultimate goal, work as a doctor at Waianae Coast Comprehensive Health Center. From being from the west side, I absolutely see that there is a need um, for more um, support as far as health care on, on that side. And it's not like it's not unknown. And being that we're aware of that, we have to send our um, people who actually have the best interest in the community. And she's hoping she's not the only physician opting to come home. Mark Carpenter, Hawaii News Now. Oh.